we're live here for another episode. Episode five, that's episode five of Sean Litvak live on Facebook. So it's 12 seconds in and there's nobody here, but that's pretty typical of how it starts. People tend to find me. So today, we'll give people a moment or two. Today, you will note, uh, and there's the first person, so now I can get into interesting material. You'll notice that I'm wearing a nice shirt. The collar is in. It's a good color. And not only is it a good color, it is solid. What does that mean? It means that I had an in-person sales call today. Yes, welcome to post-pandemic world, at least in Southern Indiana, just outside of Louisville. Sales calls are happening again. Now, this may not be happening across the entire country, but I am here to tell you it is happening here where I live. People are meeting with people in person. Did we wear a mask? Yes. And I say we because there were three of us. Did we keep six feet apart? For the most part. But if you're wearing a mask, you can like get close to people, allegedly, right? So we wore masks. We walked our facility. We had a meeting. It was wonderful. So for those of you that have been concerned that I would not wear masks in, in public, since it is the social thing to do for work, I am doing it. Grocery store, not so much. But we can talk about that another day. So what I'm here to talk about today is email closings. Because at the end of every single email, you have to say something witty or nice or something like that all together. So historically, people would end emails with the word sincerely. Isn't, and I gotta stop hitting the desk. You, you see what, what happens? Gotta get that light and camera holder. I'm, I'm waiting for it from Amazon. Hopefully I can, I can get them to move quicker. So here, I'm, I'm just going to try to put my hands on my thighs and see if that keeps me from hitting the desk. Welcome to reality in episode five. All right, so people, for years, ended emails with the word sincerely. I never liked that. It seemed cold. It didn't seem personal. It seemed impersonal. And frankly, it seemed anything but sincere because you've just spent this time telling people about what's going on. And then you say sincerely. It just, it never sat right with me. So I had to come up with something else. This is all pre-COVID. We're going to get to post-COVID in a moment. Then I saw people were using the term best. And here, I've got to fix the camera because the top of my head is, let's see now. Oh, much better. The top of my head was going flat, and I don't have a flat head. So um, people would write and still do best, comma, and then their, their name. And I realized that that was shorthand for best wishes, all my best, various things like that, various phrases like that. So I decided to go with one for years. I ended every single email with all my best. And for years, I meant it. I really did. All my best. Everything I have written to you is all my best. You have all my best wishes, all my best. But then I decided that uh, maybe it wasn't really all my best. Maybe I could do better. But you can't end an email with, I can do better, or worse yet, you can do better. No, you, you, you can't end an email that way. So I started ending it with, thank you, comma, in my name. Well, that lasted for about this long because thank you, comma, with your name, I realized after a short period of time was almost like a demand on someone. I've told you all this information. We've discussed it. Thank you. Now go do it. So I needed to get away from that. So then COVID hit. Dun, 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 dun. The Rona was here. And... I've seen all these various emails because people still wanted to sell stuff. 
And by the way, if you're actually trying to sell stuff at this point without being invited in to sell, and this is not my original statement, you are hurting yourself. Go help people. This is what I've been being told from various places. Go help people. Help people, the sale will come. Go help people. So then the big phrase, you've heard it, get ready, stay safe. So I started alternating between stay safe and be well. Stay safe, be well. What happens if you get in an email conversation? Back and forth, stay safe, be well, stay safe, be well, stay safe, be well. And after a while, stay safe, stay safe, I can't even say it anymore, started grating upon me because can you really stay safe driving a car at 40, 50, 60, 70 miles per hour down the road? Is that safe? Um, riding a bicycle, is that safe? How does one stay safe? Staying inside your home to avoid a global pandemic and have your immune system be compromised? <gasps> Is that safe? I don't know. But me telling people at the end of an email, closing with, stay safe, that just didn't seem genuine to me. Because how does one stay safe? So I stuck with be well for a while. Be well. Be well. Which, which is kind of like something that I've been known, known to say to people that I've heard other people say, be blessed, be blessed. Seems like lately I've ended all my phone conversations with most everyone with have a blessed day, have a blessed day. And some people are taken aback by, oh, you want me to have a blessed day? But anyways, you know, be well, be well. And I've gotten tired of telling people to be well, because frankly, watching everyone run around with the masks on, I don't think that's an attitude of being well. And I'm not here to debate that. I'm just telling you my personal feelings. I don't feel like people are embracing being well. So who, who am I to tell them to be well when they, they would rather be terrified or be scared or be fearful? But I'm not gonna put that in an email. So I didn't read this anywhere. This is a Sean Litvak original. I am ending every email, at least for the last several days, and probably for a while with, and if you use this, just remember me every single time you type it. Are you ready? Moving forward. Dun, dun, dun. Moving forward. Because you know what? What are your options? You're either moving forward or you're backsliding. You're either moving forward or you're stuck in status quo, which by the way is another form of backsliding. Moving forward. I think that is the most optimistic, positive, expectation-laden statement anyone can make at the end of an email to communicate to the person you are writing to what your attitude is. Hey, Johnny, dippity doppity do, can't wait to have virtual coffee with you. Here's some times I'm available. Moving forward, Sean Litvak. I hope it makes people think. What does he mean by moving forward? Surely he can't think that. He's moving forward in the middle of coming out of a global pandemic. Oh, yes, I do. Surely, moving forward, well, what, what does that, that mean? Moving forward into what? Moving forward into expectation. It's all about moving forward. So as you're writing your emails or you're giving your real estate reviews for the Chicagoland area, I give you permission to use my phrase, because I have not trademarked it, moving forward to end your webinars, to end your 
emails. Think about it. What if we made this a global movement? I'm not sure if we could, but if we do, let's just remember it started here. Can we make this viral? Everyone who wants to move forward, regardless of your political persuasion, because I think moving forward is a non-political statement. Moving forward as a country, moving forward as a people, moving forward as an individual. I am moving forward. What does that mean? It means I'm leaving what's behind. I am moving forward. Gosh, it's taken me a while to get to this point. How long has it taken me? 10 minutes to get to something with, with some real meat. Moving forward, leaving what's behind and moving ahead. Moving forward, leaving the stuck in the mud status quo and moving forward. So think about that. How are you going to leave your impression with an individual? In email, in a webinar, in a conversation. You know, you could use it like when you're done talking to them, hey man, move forward. You know, when, when someone says to me at the end of a conversation or when I'm leaving, they go, take care. I wanna go, I'm not taking care. Do you want me to like be care, take care and be nervous? And, and I know they don't mean it that way. I'd rather they say, hey, move forward. And that's what I'm doing. I'm moving forward. That's why I'm here on Facebook Live. That's why I'm here encouraging you. That's why I'm working my hiney off for my employer, working my hiney off for myself on my book, been getting some feedback on the book from my feedback proofreaders, heard the same statement from two of them so far, and I'm meeting with two more in the next couple of weeks, couple of weeks, couple of days actually, and then I've got an appointment with another literary agent next week. Uh, moving forward, that's what I'm doing. So that's what I've had to say today. Let's see if I can read who's been here in the comments we've gotten. So we've got my cousin Sari joined. Love my cousin Sari. She always seems to catch me on Facebook Live. Ah, Johnny D is here. John, you can use moving forward at the end of your Chicagoland real estate updates. I give you permission, and I bet it will increase viewership even beyond the huge numbers you have already. And finally, still here is Tracy Sullivan Pruitt with that smiling icon. Awesome. I know Tracy's moving forward. We're all moving forward. So you decide now, are you gonna move forward or are you going to move? Oh wait, another comment from John before I wrap up, here we go. Thanks and keep on trucking, very nice. Okay, so move forward, write it, say it, make it viral if you want to, but move forward. God bless, have a good day. Oh wait, I'm sorry, be blessed, have a good day.